some would argue this is the deepest division in the UFC right now. 145 pounds, a lot of killers at the top. This man has emerged out of the pack and gets his much-deserved title shot here tonight. From the moment he got to the UFC, he told us we were viewing someone that could make an impact, a future champion that will remind us of the great featherweight champs, Max Holloway, Jose Aldo Jr. He said, I am special. I will be a champion for next night. He gets the opportunity. Let's see if he can cash in. Now it appeared as though the weight cut was a little bit difficult. He did not want to hear that noise, but that is behind him, and we'll see how it goes for him here on Saturday night. So here he is right now at present, the best we have to offer at 145 pounds, the undisputed featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky. And you want to talk about a championship performance as betting underdog. A lot of people look at Rafael Dos Anjos back in the day against Showtime Tennis. How about what Volkanovsky did in outclassing Max Holloway to realize UFC gold? And he's just starting to put it all together. So it's a scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division to think just how good this Volkanovski could be now, having made those improvements since winning the belt against him. Tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Elia El Matador of Gloria. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, Undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Bogdanovsky. Herb Dean, our referee for this fight. one. Ready. Good. Well, it has been amazing to watch Alexander Bogdanovsky's progression, even when you look back to past title defenses against the likes of the Korean Zombie, almost smiling as if to say, man, I thought you were good. I didn't know you were that good. And in theory, Volkanovski's ready to present an even better version here tonight. Well, Alexander Volkanovski has never lost a pro fight with 125 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after tonight. I mean, Volkanovski follows the game plan to a team. Whatever you set up for him, he is going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in the fight against Max Holloway. Fast pace here in the early going. Nice liver shot lands. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Yeah. 
Topuria gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. He lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Very fast, they kick lands. Oh! Oh, both of them are landing massive shots. Oh, big left hand! Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Volkanovski gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab. Oh, Volkanovski's cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, nice jab by Volkanovski. Under a minute now to go round one. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Check that last one. Back and forth we go. Nice punch to the head. Oh, and he lands again. Final seconds of round one. Finds a home for that left hook. Lands a switch knee. I mean, how about those five minutes, DC? One of the best Stop. rounds of the year. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. <laughs> Left hook to the head. Oh, Volkanovski's really limping now. Clearly, the leg kicks have had the desired effect. I'm not sure how many more of those he can take. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Nice jab by Ilya Topuria. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and he can just see by his body. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! with the right hand there. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go, you gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that. Because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you go. Well, his corner was... Oh! He held it real bad. All right, so you see some redness on that calf. Maybe he's starting to slow down a little bit. It looks like he is. Starting to Oh! And back to his feet. The big left hand lands upstairs. find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Volkanovski's well, tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. 
very traditional. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down. Oh, he's trying to buck the hips. Look like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in this. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. That kick up. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. You hit those shots like that. You don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Volker. Making all these shots count. Let's work. I'm going to stand this up. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. He's got it isolated. Oh, that's tight as he transitions to the belly down arm bar. Oh, he's out. Notice how his opponent circled back off to his right. Back towards the side that his opponent was on. Got his hips all the way across to release the pressure off of his own. Beautiful submission defense. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that crowd was what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're top of the floor. They're excited. Well-placed kick there by Volkanovski. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh! Now he's back up. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of round number three. He played the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Ilya Elmagador All right, so there he is, the new UFC featherweight champion. Kind of looks like the after party has already started in the octagon. I know you'll be there shortly, Chuck. I mean, it's going to be a great night. Look, I wasn't on his bandwagon on the way to the octagon, but I'm so...